He covers a lot of ground in the manager's report brought to you by Geico. Aaron, it seems like wins have not been easy for this team to come by in any capacity. How much do you exhale after this one is sealed? Yeah, yeah, big time. You know, it was, it was a grind all game. I thought Waka for them was was really good, you know, and, and Nestor for us. Uh, so both both starters, you know, went, I thought were really sharp in that five innings. And then, you know, the bullpens were able to keep, keep both teams at bay. Um, I thought just some really good winning at bats there in the end. I thought Chappie was really sharp um, and and a, and a great hang on play there by DJ. So uh, a really good win for us tonight and uh, another big one now tomorrow. I spoke to Judge on the field and he said the scratch had to do with a testing, medical testing issue that he didn't necessarily want to get too, too into. Can you just kind of describe though how that all unfolded pregame and when you realized you didn't have him available? Yeah, I'm not going to go too far into it either. It, it basically, in, in some of his return to from the COVID stuff, he, he just had to complete some doctor appointments. He He's fine. He's good to go. Um, but it went long and he ended up not getting to the field until into the six o'clock hour. So it was just, you know, we had to, we had to scratch him, obviously. You mentioned Cortez. He doesn't throw particularly hard, but it seems as though he's deceptive. What makes him so deceptive on the mound? Well, he's got good characteristics on his ball. So his fastball plays, you know, he's got the ability to pitch up with it. Um, he does create deception, obviously with, with, with his delivery some, um, you know, just his arm action. Um, you know, the ability to throw different arm angles and the, the ability to continue to change speeds, whether he slows you down with the curveball, mixes in the slider and cuts it a little bit, but he can ride you up top with the fastball too. So he's just, he's good at his craft. Um, and, and I know I say that and, and we always crafty and because he does some interesting things, but not only can he pitch, but his, his stuff plays. Aaron, there have been several reports throughout the game that the Yankees are zeroing in on, on Joey Gallo. What could a bat like that mean to this offense? I mean, I'm not going to get into that. There's nothing official in that regard. I heard the same things, frankly, um, you know, even coming from the stands and things um, and guys coming on the bench. But I haven't even talked to Cash yet. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't uh, uh, there's nothing to comment on. We'll take the next one from Ken David Ops. Aaron, your starting pitching overall has been really solid the last three weeks or so. Just, just how pleased are you with that? And it's it fair to say if there was one unit you'd want to be thriving right now, it, it would be that unit. Yeah, no question. I mean, obviously Garrett at the top is throwing the ball really well. We've seen J-Mo really pitch well now for four to six weeks and continues to trend up. Monty's been terrific. Herman's coming off a great outing. And Ma and uh, Nestor just slotting in in that role. Um you know, we couldn't ask for more than what he's provided for us, um, kind of filling in and, you know, kind of all that he does for this team and all the different roles he's been asked to be in. Um, he's been terrific there. So, you know, that's a great place to start. You know, if, if, if our starters are giving us a chance night in and night out, that's, that's ultimately what's going to give us a chance to fuel a, a, 